Hello everybody. Today I am going to discuss about uh, how we will do erythrocyte sedimentation rate determination in brief ESR determination. E for erythrocyte, S for sedimentation, R for rate uh, in a hematology laboratory. Uh, let us introduce uh, first of all the materials we need for this uh, purpose. So this is you can see it is a vacuotainer. The cap color decides that uh, it's black actually. The cap color decides that this is uh, totally for the uh, blood of uh, doing ESR. You can see here that is the maximum capacity is 1.6 ml. That means more than this amount you cannot take here. And that much of uh, blood can be accommodated inside with an enough amount of uh, trisodium citrate 0.38% which is the anticoagulant for the erythrocyte sedimentation rate experiment. Blood is already taken inside and we will use this blood for the determination of erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Now this is uh, erythrocyte sedimentation rate determination stand. You can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 at a time 6 students or 6 person can use this stand and uh, these two are the pipettes let me explain that first of all this you can detach this it is called western green pipette and it is the tip you have to attach in this way and you have to use this uh, to uh, pick up the blood and to uh, fix it over here in this way how you will do this it will be demonstrated by our lab technician Mr. Dhamanuja Jokrabhuti and uh, it is for a uh, multi-purpose means you can use it uh, for, for the second time for the third time and uh, so on till it breaks this is a new uh, system of ES ESR measurement and it is called uh, also a pipette for, but it is for single use means one time use you will uh, dip it uh, inside this and uh, how it works, it will also be demonstrated by Dhananda Chakraborty. And after that, you have to discard both. So this is the material and method, um, material basically we need uh, to do the erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Both will be demonstrated by the lab technician. So let's uh, see the demonstration now. So now we are going to uh, see the demonstration of uh, uh, ESR estimation. So we can see that Mr. Dhananja Chakraborty, our uh, lab uh, technician, uh, changing the tit. So two types of tit can be used uh, in this uh, estimation. He is mixing the blood thoroughly. Now he is going to uh, pick up the blood into the western green pipette with the help of that uh, tit. Just see how he is doing that. That is very important. Otherwise, you cannot put it properly in the ESR stand. Gradually, he is taking up the blood, repeating it thoroughly up to the upper mark. And then he is going to set it in the ESR stand. Just see the finger movement properly. After placing the western green pipette into the exact part, he is holding it with the help of the left hand. Then open the tit, then readjusting the blood up to the mark so that no air bubble gets inside and it should be properly marked up to the proper marking you can see and now no teeth is used you can see it properly it is totally up to the mark okay you can see the upper part is up to the mark and the totally there is not a single air bubble and up to the last, it is totally filled with the blood. Now see how he is placing it. He placed it, pressed it 
and now he is adjusting with the upper part of the ESR stand. Now this is the proper way to fit the western green pipette into the ESR stand. We will keep it for one hour. You see the marking now before one hour. And after one hour we will see how it is dropped down. Now Mr. Dhananjoy Chakraborty will demonstrate that how we can do the ESR estimation with the help of just one time use pipette. You can see that he is holding the pipette in one hand and blood vacuotainer in other hand. Now see how it happens. He is inserting the pipette, he is pressing it properly and you can see that automatically blood is coming up. Coming up. It is so easy, now he will place it into the test tube rack and it is also kept for long one hour. So after one hour we will calculate the result, we will see the result what happens and then we will compare the result also. Now this is the time for the uh, observation of ESR, one hour is over. Now if we see in a uh, one time uh, pipette, the value is approximately uh, 10 mm per hour. You can see uh, 10 mm per hour. Hopefully, let me move it for you. I think you can see, yes. That's a 10 mm per hour, 10, uh, 10, 15. Yes, 15 mm per hour. Okay, 15 mm per hour. This is for one time ESR value after one hour. And if we go for the actual method, uh, yes, you can see the value after uh, one hour, uh, that is, yes, that is uh, five. Uh, let me see, let me focus it again. Mm, yeah, yes, you probably can see that it is, uh, yeah, it's five, six, six to seven mm, seven mm per hour, okay, seven mm per hour. So there is a slight difference between the uh, value, one is 15 mm per hour and another one is almost to seven mm per hour, yes, seven mm per hour. So this is the most accurate one which is now I am handling this western gain method but uh, this, uh, this method, this one time method is also important because if we have to go for some survey and we have to give some spot result then uh, this uh, sophisticated instrument is uh, uh, not at all feasible but this one time use instrument is uh, or this pipette is very much required because it's uh, pocket friendly also and uh, we can have huge of that uh, well, while we are going to uh, say the ESR value during the survey method uh, in the survey but uh, it will be not feasible to carry all this uh, uh, strands and all this uh, glass goods instrument and this is made up of glass goods and it's not made up of glass goods so uh, handling is also very easy in case of this uh, one time western green uh, pipette and it's not uh, so much easier in case of this uh, western green Pipet. So that much difference we have to keep in our mind. Uh, there is a slight difference in the value, but this is much more authentic when we place it uh, in the ESR stand and keep it uh, aside for long one hour rather than using this. But this is fit for the survey method.